An ectopic pregnancy happens when the embryo is traveling down a fallopian tube and it gets stuck. And it'll sit there and grow until it bursts a tube. And if it bursts a tube, the mother may die of internal bleeding. The woman will show, feel a sharp pain, go into the ER or emergency room, get scanned. A doctor will say, ooh, you, you have an ectopic. We have to take it out. They schedule an emergency salpingectomy, ablate or burn both sides of the mass so that it won't bleed. They use a scope to remove the mass. All they have to do is give it to the pathologist to look at and they confirm it and they can throw it away. And the reason they throw it away is because a, a healthy pregnancy, the embryo typically needs to implant into the mother by day seven or day eight. But you don't discover an ectopic until four to eight weeks after, right? So there are many weeks in between where that embryo is not attached to the mother, there's no nutrients coming to it. So OBGYNs understand it to be non-viable. The, the fetuses are non-viable, okay? So you have to remove it to save the mother. In this way, he discovered literally the earliest stem cells that you could possibly find without any ethical issues. And we call them human trophoblast stem cells.